What is up, everybody? Phantom Darkness 135 here. Today, we're going to be exploring a game from the same people who made Morningstar, which we played a long time ago, but I really enjoyed it. This is Heatherdale from Red Herring Labs, suggested by our good fan, Matt Monito. Thank you, Matt, for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoy. I was out of the room when the intro movie played, so why don't we start by watching that. Other than that it was made by the same people who did Morningstar, I have no idea what this game is about. Oh my gosh, it's loud. Or what we're getting ourselves into, so that's good. The animation looks really cool. I'm not really sure what's happening, but it looks cool. Ugh. <laughs> 72 hours earlier. What am I doing here in the middle of the jungle? I don't know, man. It's my last chance to get back on the plane. But what if it's real? What if the professor's really found it? Why else would he send me all his research? For years I've been studying Dunmore's poetry, and all this time I believed he had made it all up. His imaginary city. The city of sleeping statues. What happened here? Darkness. The city that drove him mad and made him end up in a mental institute 110 years ago. This is insane. It can't be real. But this is my chance to find out if it is. I can't turn back now. I have to solve the mystery of Heberdale. Did she land that plane there or is did she crash? If she landed that, that's great, although it doesn't look in great shape. All right, so we see a telegram here. Dr. Montrose, stop. I have found Heatherdale, stop. Your paper on Dunmore was invaluable, stop. Take the first plane to Kinshasa, Kinshasa. stop. All your expenses will be covered, nice, stop. Keep this a secret, no stop. Well, we have to wait, I guess, because he didn't end it with a stop, no. All right, let's start a new game. Oh, this is different. Or I guess it's not. Morningstar was kind of like this. I took out a hairpin, my makeup kit, and a towel. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'll come back for the rest later. I need to go get, go. I need to. I can't read. I need to get to the camp as soon as possible. I got everything I needed now for, for now for my luggage. Well, why did you bring that bag then? If you could have just taken it on your person. Anyway, we have a towel. We have a makeup kit. We have a hairpin. So that's great. Um, there's not a whole lot of. Okay, I guess it's a scrolling screen. So let's see if we can go back at all. Probably not. No. Alright, let's head this way. Why is she going over there? So here's a canopy. It's a canopy stretched out by the side of the shed. It's nailed tight to the shed and pegged to the ground. I can't remove it by hand. It's a small shed, but there's a lock on it. There's probably store tools and other stuff in there. Hmm, I wonder who they are. So what the heck is going on? Let's see. I don't really want to go down the dark jungle path just yet. Pair of tracks. Someone is driving a car here. That's good news, I think. Huge tree. What's with the huge tree? It's blocking the road. I can't get across it. Perfect. Okay. Looks like dark jungle path it is, guys. I could try to see if I can find the camp going this way, but it's pitch black in there. Okay. Looks like it's not the dark jungle path. It is, guys. What? <laughs> um, can we pick the lock? Nice. There's a claw hammer and a flare inside. Every girl knows how to pick a lock with their hairpins. Everybody knows that. Magnesium flare and claw hammer. Um, maybe we can use the... Hold on, I just want to make sure we can't go over here and I didn't miss something. Okay. We can maybe use the flare to see inside the... Oh, we can use the hammer to get the canopy off. Nice. There's a rope ladder and wheel chalk underneath the canopy. I also took the nails. Wow, there's some useful stuff here. Um, I don't know why they put a wheel chalk under there. Anyway, can we use the flare? Oh, it's not even dark. Burning tree trunk. Hit by lightning, is turning fire hot despite the rain. It'll be a while before the rain puts it out. Perfect. Um, back to airstrip. Throw a towel on it? Something large. Uh, I thought that was going to be large enough. Maybe not. Okay. Well, maybe we can... I wish you could hide some of this stuff. Oh, I guess we can't even get through that way. Hmm. Okay, that changes things a little bit. 
Can we rope ourselves around? No. Dang, I was really hoping that towel would work. I don't want to paint that. Okay. Well, um, already explored Jungle Path. Um, it looks like you could clearly climb over that tree trunk, but I guess not. Dang, we are like five minutes into the game and I can't figure this out. Let's see, nothing else in there. Oh, we can take the canopy. That's, I had a feeling we could do that. Okay, come on, here we go. Alright, so we can use the canopy. Use that on the tree trunk. Now I can get across safely. Cool. I like this so far. This is pretty cool. It's a little different from Morningstar, but it's in a better way. The fire's out. Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay, so we can go up these stairs without using our ladder. Can't go that way. A jumble of roots. Just a whole jumble of them. There's no way I can climb across here. If only we had... Oh, okay. Spike-shaped rock. I can't aim the ladder. It's too light. I need weight on wind. If only we had weight on one end like that and a rope ladder then we could make a bridge oh that's what, exactly the items we found well wasn't that convenient what is that miss montrose over here he knows who i am dear god you startled me who are you sir my name is james carroll i'm working on the dig with professor harbach he looks like he's doing that thing with uh that matthew mcconaughey did in uh Wolf of Wall Street. So this is Dr. Harbach's camp. Yes, but we can talk about that later. Right now you need to come inside. I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Come. Tomorrow? I don't really trust him. I don't really trust that dude. Can we not? Okay, I guess we have to. Day one. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk to this dude. Hello there, Mr. Caro. Miss Montrose. Thanks for the shelter last night. It was really coming down. No problem, I hope you liked your tent. Yes, thank you. The professor mentioned that you'd be arriving soon, but I didn't think it'd be in the middle of the night. I was fortunate to be able to rent a plane. It was very hard, mind you. Inexpensive. Plus, the pilot seemed reluctant to fly me here. He kept going on about this place being cursed, which is absurd, of course. Where's the pilot? Actually, the closer we get to the ruins, the creepier it seems to me. What's that supposed to mean? Look, I don't want to freak you out, so never mind. I'll let you make up your own mind. Well, not very reassuring, but okay. So, where's the professor? What's been going on here? I'm really anxious to see the city. We got here two weeks ago. Professor Harbach and Mr. Ashcroft, I'll tell you more about him later, flew in just like you did. I drove a tub car with Burke so we could move around here more easily between the camp and the closest settlement, bring supplies and whatnot. But the car broke down yesterday at the dig. The Germans still have a long way to go when it comes to making cars. Sing. Who's Burke? He's a hunter and a demolitions expert. I usually work with him on most jobs whenever I can, but three days ago he got stung by some local plant, and he's pretty much been unconscious since then. I plan to drive out to Shansunu later for some medicine after fixing the car. I hope he'll get better. If he doesn't, we can't use the explosives. Why is that? A couple of days ago he lost one of his grenades. He got so mad that he locked the rest of them in a crate and refused to tell us the combination to its lock. And this Ashcroft person you mentioned? He's a royal pain in the ass. Pardon my language. Uptight, snobby, and not very personable. I don't know why Professor Harbach puts up with him. I guess it's because of his money. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. Anyway, as soon as we arrived, Dr. Harbach and Ashcroft started snooping around immediately. I'm just a hired hand here, so I do what I can to help them. Carrying stuff, minding the camp, and so on. To be honest, much of what they talk about makes little sense to me. I don't believe in any of this supernatural nonsense. Didn't you just say you were freaked out by everything going on around here? So where are they? They found some old furnaces and they set up camp right next to them. They took the car, but as I said, it broke down, so you'll have to walk. It's a couple of miles north of here. Thank you, I'll go find them. Have a nice day. You too, Miss Montrose. Oh, I'll get your luggage from the airship as soon as possible. How did he know about that? Thanks. Also, we could definitely have bought that luggage. Anyway. Took one of the strings, the thick E string. It had two more missing anyway, now it has three. You're a jerk! <laughs> I don't need any more strings. You didn't need. Oh my god. You don't just take the E string, dude. Okay, rather large. And his food. <laughs> Why is it. Oh, there's Burke. He's been like that for three days now. How did it happen? He wandered off toward the west looking for some pipe weed. I found him the same evening near the river, semi conscious with a huge red spot in his arm. 
He's mumbling incoherently about our village and some locals, which is weird because within a 30 mile radius, there's no one here but us. The next settlement is Shansunu in the, to the south. Why is it in every point and click game we're just like, we can take whatever we want? It's a small portable microscope. Okay, and it reads the Nazis annexed Austria yesterday. There is hope, Fuller. What? Yeah, that came in yesterday. I'm sure Ashcroft will be happy to hear that. His buddy keeps sending him news every other day. Not that any of that makes any difference here. Is he a Nazi? Why should the occupation of Austria make him happy? The only reason he's not a Nazi is that he wasn't born in Germany. Anyway, if you show him that, he'll like you for sure. For about five minutes. Then he'll find a reason to dislike you. I don't know about this, guys. I'm not... I'm not okay with the whole helping Nazi things, but you know what? If we get a crate of grenades for it, I guess it's worth it. Okay, through the jungle. Fresco. The painting has two figures on it. I see one. Oh, maybe that guy down there. The large one has a ceremonial painting on its face. It has a shell on its belt and a red feather in its helmet. We'll probably have to remember that. It's holding a spear in its hand. The other one is just a stick figure. Seems to be beating a drum. Is that like David and Goliath? Steel rod. It's wedged firmly between two rocks. Okay, I'm just making sure there's nothing else. Shorter plank. I can't carry it around, but I can use it on something. How about smack it up? Okay. Um. I managed to loosen the rod with a claw hammer. After that, it came out easy. Cool. Plank. Maybe to build a bridge. Well, can we... Do that, please. Okay, align planks. I need something to fix them together. I'm pretty sure that he didn't do all that when he made the bridge. Okay, here we go. Cool. Thick shrubbery. I don't want to poke around in there unless I have a resin. A what now? A wall? Can't climb it. There's nothing to grab a hold of. Okay. Alright, we're gonna leave that stuff alone and walk to the jungle for a while, fans. Okay, here's the dudes. The Nazis, I mean. Where are we? Oh, there we are. There's a car. It's a car! Thank you! <laughs> uh, we'll just take their engine oil. They won't need that. They won't need this winch chain at all. Uh, they don't need the car either, so let's just take that too. Man and Professor Harbach. I better talk to the professor first. Well, I'll just walk up and stare at the sky first. Miss Montrose, I'm I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, I won't do that. Yes, me too. <laughs> that flight will be will give me nightmares for a while. I'm sorry, Professor. It's good to finally meet you, but you must understand that the circumstances in which we do are more than peculiar. If you hadn't sent that large envelope with all your photographs and research material, I would have taken you for a con man. But Miss Montrose, I'm a well-respected archaeologist and scholar. And Nazi. Yes, I know that now. <laughs> After confirming your existence and sanity eh, with your colleague at Cambridge. Again, Miss Montrose. I'm sorry, Professor, but put yourself in my shoes. What would you do after receiving a package that claims that the imaginary city of your favorite poet exists and an invitation, no, a request to fly to Africa immediately? Well, yes. Well, I... See, not an easy question. I must admit, amidst all my excitement, I failed to consider the implications of my request, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. If, in the end, it turns out to be worth it, consider everything forgiven. Plus, now that I'm here, I confess that I'm very excited about all this. I'm glad. We'll need your expertise to find the lost city of Lord Dunmore. The papers you published on him were invaluable during my research. Without them, we might still be in England. How can I help? Oh my gosh. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, let's get back to the game. Okay, uh, I don't think I read this yet. To be honest, we have reached a dead end. We managed to find the ruins of some houses a few miles back down the road. You might have seen them on the shores of that deep ditch. The people who lived there must have been craftsmen, but it's all grown in. The foliage is too thick to do any real work there. We're waiting for Mr. Burke to get better so he and Mr. Carroll can cut through the shrubbery. So we moved up here to the riverbank after we'd found the remains of these two furnaces. Mr. Ashcroft and I set up camp here so that we can work faster. What prompted me to beckon you over here to Africa was the inscription we found on the wall of the other furnace. It seems to be in English and written by the hand of Lord Dunmore. This was actually the first thing we found. How does it seem to be in English? 
Well, to be honest, it wasn't us who found it. It was a local hunter who brought some meat down to the market at Shansunu. It was by sheer luck that the information was relayed to me. He was just going on about some cursed marks on the wall. That's what started this whole expedition. I remember those from your photos. Unbelievable. I'll go check it out immediately. I must admit my literary knowledge is far inferior compared to yours. I tried to make sense of it, and, but this is precisely the thing that you excel at. Interpreting the mind of this crazy, sorry, mentally challenged individual. I hope you can help us move forward. This will be an exceptional find. All right, Professor. I'll do what I can. I'm also eager to solve the mystery of the city. Miss Montreux is one more thing. Although being a man of science and total disbeliever in all that is supernatural, I must urge you to keep your eyes open and watch your step. What exactly do you mean? Has something happened? Aside from Mr. Burke getting ill, nothing specific. Although one might look upon Mr. Burke's condition as a sign, I choose to see it as pure bad luck. But there's something about this place. Mr. Ashcroft and I disagree on a lot of things, but I concur with him on this point. This place is special. Good special or bad special? <laughs> Sorry, dear. That's all I can say without discrediting myself as a rational scholar. Guess I'll have to settle for this. I'll check that inscription. Thank you, dear. Let me know if you figure something out. Wow. They, um... Yeah, they don't try to uh, hide the supernaturalness of things. Hello there. Good morning, you must be Dr. Montrose. Nice to meet you, and you must be Mr. Ashcroft. Doctor, if I may ask. Er, sure, doctor. Oh wait, is he was the one who was the Nazi, sorry. The professor seems to be enjoying giving me the discourtesy whenever he came by addressing me improperly. The others choose to follow his lead on this. I meant no disrespect. Don't worry, dear, I'm sure you'll make up for it somehow. I'm sure. So, Doctor, the professor tells me that you're kind of stuck and need my help game to get moving again. Yes, we are, and it pays me greatly to have to rely on you people to finally get to where I, where we, want to be. As far as I know, it was us people that got here in the first place. Us people that got here in the first place. Professor Harbach and my publications. Yes, I should say very exciting, but I won't, because it was my money that got you here. Doctor, why are you here? You don't seem to care about the research, yet I assume you went through a lot of trouble to get here. Indeed, my interests are less of a scientific nature and more of a, let's say, sociological. What's that supposed to mean? Never you mind, but as long as you're here, you might as well make yourself useful, though I can't say that I share the professor's faith in you. It's one thing to flip through a few pages of poems and another to recover something truly brilliant. This is not Oxford. This is Heatherdale. You'll find that out before long. I already did. At Oxford, I'm usually treated with respect. Respect is earned, not given away. You've yet to earn mine. I'll let you get back to your work. How about some Nazi news? Doctor, Mr. Carroll said you might be interested in this telegram. Let me see. Germany? Mmm. Mmm. This is excellent news. The Germans have finally made up their mind. I knew that under the leadership of Hitler, they'll aspire to something greater. See, Professor, this is what distinguishes the Germans from our over-civilized Anglo-Saxon race. They simply take what they want. Forgive me if I don't share your enthusiasm. The only reason you have the guts to say this is that we are in the middle of the jungle. At home, you'd be arrested for treason. What do you think, Miss Montrose? I think this has nothing to do with why we're here. You're right. We're here to find the city of Heatherdale. And to do that, I need your help. I need an axe from the camp. Would you be so kind to get me one? When you're there, ask Mr. Carroll. I've drawn a map, but I don't need it anymore, so here you go. Look it over. See if you can find anything that we might have missed. I won't deny the importance of a fresh set of eyes. The sooner this conversation ends, the better. I'll leave you to work, doctor. Thanks for the map. Sorry, I know I skip over sometimes reading, it's just weird how, like, when I read it out loud, I kind of skip words or mispronounce things, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a drink real fast. More reading, okay, here we go. It's an old wall with an inscription on it. The part that I can't make out reads, I do not want to go back. The things I've seen are horrible beyond belief. I don't even trust my bow anymore. Thank God from this day on the other side is guarded by the shaman sleeping underwater. Wait, no, I wasn't finished. This must have been written by Deadmore himself. Interesting. Alright. Um, I just want to make sure we don't have anything else to say to him. Is there anything else you could tell me about the city? We can't find the entrance to it. That's about it. As a person, I wouldn't recommend this, but as an archaeologist doing his job, I'd say you should talk to Mr. Ashcroft over there. Me who be able to help you. Thank you. Do you have anything else to say, Nazi? He wants an axe, and I don't want to talk to him. Fair enough. Let's go get the Nazi an axe. Because what could... What harm could come from that? So we picked up a chain and some engine oil. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that stuff yet. And we still have this drumstick. <laughs> um, Burke is still out. should try to help him if I can. 
Mr. Caro? Yes, Miss Montrose. Mr. Ashcroft needs an axe for something. He sent me to get it for him. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. Wow. If that was truly a few miles, that was hardly worth the trip. <laughs> Maybe we can use it before we give it to him on the shrubbery or something. Can we do that? Let's not hide that in the bushes. I didn't want you to hide it there. I just... Anyway, it doesn't matter. We chain over the wall? No. Okay. We will not do anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like this, guys. Oh, he's over there. Oh, he blended in with the rock so well. <laughs> I guess he won't need those anymore, but if he does, I don't care. What are you guys doing? Dr. Montrose, take a look at this. What is it? We've unco uncovered items that used to belong to Lord Dunmore. It seems he had more than one camp. Excuse me. Excuse me again. In his poems, he only mentions the one next to the temple. That's where he used to see his deceased lover, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if he saw her, but he certainly thought he did. These visions produce some truly amazing poetry. What about the items? An almost totally decomposed bunch of papers, which I dare not touch for fear of dis disintegrating them with the slightest touch. We also found a compass and a crossbow. We'll take a look at the compass with Ashcroft, then I'll come up with a way to remove the papers. But you can take the crossbow, it has no real value. Except that it's a freaking awesome crossbow. You can get a similar one at any antique weapons dealer. Oh, well, I didn't know that. It was a fairly common model at the time. Thank you, Professor. Mind if I take it? I wonder if we can fix it with something. Ashcroft! Or unless I have that. I have the axe. Here's the axe. Miss Kent, you see I'm busy here. We're, we've uncovered some new items that might bring us closer to the city. Keep your axe and leave me to my work. Okay, more axe for me then. Ha ha! I wonder if we're supposed to fix this car. What do they say about it? She just said it's a car. Yeah. So, I guess not. We have all this stuff now. Um, oh, there's a shell. That's cool. We can put our ear in it. I don't really know what else we can do here. We can't really... There's nothing to grab hold of. Okay, if we waited the chisels in. Nice. I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> that was just the first thing that popped in my head. Okay, here we go. Damn. There's a damn. But first, there's some white flowers. Looks like I uprooted them. Look. <laughs> the dialogue. <laughs> well, it looks like... I'm not sure, but it looks like I uprooted these flowers. Make a V-shape. Um... The stump and the tree trunk make a V-shape. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the interruptions. Hold on one second. I'm sorry about the interruptions, guys. You guys probably won't find this funny at all. But I'm in a group text with uh, 12 of my best friends, and... we discuss There's a dry river bridge stretching towards the south. Can we not walk over here? No, this way. Okay, I guess we can't walk across it. Stop. Oh gosh, I'm really sorry, guys. No more. I'm not. I'm not gonna look at it anymore. Um, I'm in this group text with two of my best friends, and <laughs> we discovered that for some reason. Oh wait, can we use this? Okay, we can examine this. Cool. We discovered that for some reason, <laughs> when you Google image search our first names, it's. <laughs> The pictures are ridiculous. If you if you ever want a good laugh, just Google search image search your first name and and see what pops up. It's it's a little ridiculous. Um, what are we doing here? We can't get over the dam. We can't. I don't know what to do with this stump. Okay, sorry. I just had to respond to that last one. Um. Artificial dam. Can we break apart the dam, maybe? Do I find a way to destroy it from a distance? Just chuck large drumsticks at it until it goes away. <laughs> That's how you solve all your problems, kids. Just keep chucking large drumsticks at it. There's got to be a way we can hook up, like, a chain or something to the stump. I don't want to put that there. Well, I want to put that there. Um... It has string, otherwise it looks fine. Okay, so we need to put the string on the crossbow. 
I don't want to put that there. Can you add anything else to it? There's got to be something we have that we can put on this freaking stump. Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> don't you turn your back on me, miss. I don't know what she wants. Can I just fire a crossbow at it? I can't use that to demolish the dam. Why does she keep going over there? <laughs> um, I don't see what it says. It smells like garlic. Okay. A V shape. Okay. Maybe we need to go back and talk with the dude at the camp. Or maybe there's something I missed along the way. There's nothing else. No, there's nothing else in there. Yeah. Let's talk to the dude real fast. Okay. Um, nothing here. We could probably... If this is locked, I don't know the combination. It's nailed shut. Okay, we can definitely take care of the grenades then. I didn't see that before. The nails are too small. I can't pull them out. Oh my gosh, you're so useless. Um, axe? How will that not help you open the crate? There's gotta be some way you can get in there. Um, I guess not. I guess we're just. So well, there, guys. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's fine. We'll just do something else. Can we use something on the microscope? Okay, I guess not. There's the telegram machine. If we give him garlic, will he help? Will it help him? It takes a lot more than that to heal him. I thought so. Already got the axe. I don't need any more strings. I don't need anything. Oi, oi, oi. What are we going to do here, guys? Hmm. We can't open the crate. I don't see anything here that we can... Oh, wait. This said... Let's see. Hold on. He's holding a spear... He has a red feather in his helmet and a shell on his belt. Can you put that on the fresco? I don't want to peel off the paint. Okay. Okay. Alright, I guess not. I have a feeling that's going to come in handy, though. It's a car. I know that she's going to say it. It's a car. Okay. I don't want to bother him, but we can talk to Ashcroft. I don't want to talk to him. He's rude. Dang it. Okay, I definitely missed something. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, it's just a car. Okay. I definitely missed something back here with the wall. There's got to be something we put there. Drumstick? Find a way to destroy it from a distance. I don't know how to use it, an axe or whatever from a distance. Can you just climb up it? That would be nice. Okay, whatever. Never leave home without it. Whatever. It's a small shell. Great. Why does she keep going over there? I don't want to put that there. Stop. Use it. No, stop. Okay, I guess she doesn't want to put that there. Can we combine something, maybe? Okay, I found a hand grenade underneath the leaf. Okay, perfect. I knew I missed something. So we can use that to destroy the dam. Let's try it out. Bricks are pretty tight. The explosion wouldn't have enough power to blow up the dam. I need to choke the detonation. Um, I don't know if we can... 
I don't want to wipe that clean. How do we choke the detonation? Uh, I don't know how you choke a hand grenade detonation. I could hit that with the drumstick, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, okay, that worked. Okay, that was careless, I admit, and I should have been staying a lot farther away, but the river's now flowing towards the south. The eastern riverbed has revealed three underwater tombs. Cool. Can we go down there? Oh, right here. Tombs of Zuda Rock, there's a hook on it. There's a hook on it? Can we... I need to find another way. Let me slide. Okay, so we need leverage. What about the winch chain? Okay. Okay, we can pull that on the stump, maybe? Okay. What the heck? What else can we put there? No, why do we have that in our... There. Can we shoot it off somewhere or something? Um, oh shoot, no, I don't want your darn walkthrough. Okay, um, hold that thought, because I want to see if this did anything down to what, by where they were uh, digging. By the way, that was a lot of walking back and forth to figure that out, by the way. <laughs> Finally came back, I'm like, well, maybe we can just throw it in the water. Okay, so this is opened up. Where does it go? See, I don't, I don't want to bother the professor. She probably doesn't want to talk to the other dude. The Nazi. I don't want to talk to Henny the dude. I don't know what else to do. We can go down here now, but what was the point? If there's nothing back here, there's got to be something back here. No, not that jungle. No, no, stop, stop, stop back here. There's got to be something down here. No? Of course not. Okay. Let's go back to the dam. <laughs> Dang, this this one's draining me, guys. I don't know. This is a this is a good game. Very um the puzzles are on point. I don't know what to put on this to rather large drumstick. No. can't attach it to anything. Item 77 description. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's got to be something. No, go back to the chain end. What are you doing? Oh, loose break right here. Here we go. Come on. March lady. I can probably dislodge it with something. I could use it as a weight. I need something long, strong, and thin to move that brick, but I don't want to waste it. I could use it as a weight. What? What are you talking about, lady? I don't want to waste it? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I see. She wants to use it first. And now she wants to... Okay, I gotcha. Maybe it needs some lubricant. Oh my gosh, you're so needy. Good thing that someone brought engine oil on this trip. Okay. Here we go. Hundredth time the charm. With the steel rod. Here we go. Cool. Tombstone is open. For some reason, we are opening this dude's grave and stealing his stuff. <laughs> a ceremonious beer and plume inside, aside from the corpse, of course. Why 
Yeah, why are we robbing this grave? Can we open this one? Oh, that's the open grave, I see. Okay, well, that's great. I don't know what we're gonna... I know it's the stuff from the paint... Okay, they moved. I know it's the stuff from the painting, but... I don't know what we're gonna do with it quite yet. I found some graves that prove that Dunmore is actually here. We already knew that. No, we didn't. We suspected it. Well, I was sure. Or rather, rather, I had faith in it. I'm starting to have faith in you. Since you arrived, things to be, seem to be progressing at quite a pace. I want your respect and you give me faith. What a deal. When you get older, you'll find that faith will get you a lot further than respect. Well, when I get older, I'll let you know how that went for me. Great. Miss Montrose, where were you? Did you hear that explosion? What happened? It's alright, Professor. It was me. I changed the direction of the river. It seems that Dunmore experienced more than just visions. Also, I probably messed up the village's ecosystem terribly by destroying the dam, but we won't worry about that. What do you mean? Because we're doing research. I found graves in the riverbed. I also robbed them because, again, research, science. And that means someone actually was living here. Which in return means that Lord Dunmore might have actually met some of the natives. I think they were the ones who, that dug those graves. Underwater burial is very difficult. A simple dead man would not receive such attention. That's for sure. A simple dead man has also rarely has obsidian necklaces. You mean you opened them? Thank you. Uh, just one of them. Was that a mistake? Archaeology is a delicate matter. You should have come straight to me. I didn't want to bother you until I was sure. It's alright. Next time you see me first. So you found an obsidian necklace. What else? The spear, an ornamental plume that has some blue dust on it. Let me see those. Hmm... The necklace is unique. I've never seen anything like it before. The spear has beautiful ornaments, and the plume looks like they chose the feathers of the plume very carefully to produce this pattern. I think the man these items belong to must have been a respected person among his people, a king of, or priest of some sort, perhaps a shaman. That concurs with the inscription of Dunmore at the furnaces. I think he might have witnessed the funeral and wrote that two-liner right there and then at his camp. So he actually met these people. Amazing. You were right. I would have never imagined. He was actually here. This sheds a new light on everything. What do you mean by that? Well, it just struck me that Dunmore wrote some pretty spooky stuff about the natives, the shades as he called them. Until now, I thought all of that came from the depths of his mind. But now that we have proof that he was here, proof we didn't have until now, it makes me wonder what else might be real and not fictional. How spooky. Have you read Poe? Some. Well, spookier than that. Oh. <laughs> Right. Now imagine some of that stuff is real and it might be nearby. Oh dear. I never thought about it that way. Again, your expertise provides fresh insight into this matter. Thank you, Dr. Montrose. Say, would you mind taking these artifacts down to the camp for me? I have something to discuss with Mr. Ashcroft. Sure, Professor. Ashcroft. Nazi. Nod. Alright, progress. I like it. Let's go back to the camp. And she said there's some dust on that I think after I blew the dam, the water from the river got redirected here. Can we go down there now? Okay. I guess it's not important right now. Um, she said there's powder on the necklace or something that we got there, so I wonder if we can look at it under here. Or something. It was something we picked up there. The plume? The blue dust on the plume seems to be pollen. I think I saw some bushes with blue flowers near the furnaces. Okay, cool. Um, and then we have a spear. So let's talk to... No, 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 no. Let's talk to the dude before we leave, just to make sure. Okay, we gotta get the axe. She keeps saying she can't take this. She has to come back later for that, so I don't know what's up with that. Didn't he say take the stuff back to camp? I thought? Whatever. Okay, um, let's look at the blue flowers by the furnaces, which is... Okay, that's fine. You already told me that. Uh, which is by where they set up. I didn't see any flowers, though. Oh, they're back here. Bush with blue flowers. Flowers even have blue pollen. Imagine that. They're like, what is this girl doing? Can we collect it? Oh, she wants to go through? There's a secret staircase. Guys, guys! Let's not bother them. <laughs> he doesn't need to know about this totally great discovery. Alright, so that's day two, and I think that with that, I'm going to end this episode, and we'll continue again tomorrow. So, game saved. I'm really enjoying this so far. I hope you guys are too. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> after the last couple games, I get kind of impatient with reading, so I'll try to work on that. Um, otherwise, really enjoying it. I'm loving the puzzles. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
please no spoilers, and I'll see you guys for day two next time. For now, Phantom Darkness 135, I am out of here.